she felt so sad because she was following a very healthy diet and training in the gym. It was strange because the one part of her body gaining most weight was her stomach. It was unbelievable hearing that she wasn't pregnant, and she needed to find out what was going on. Keely thought that she must be pregnant because she analyzed all her symptoms and didn't find any explanation rather than pregnancy. She and her boyfriend, Jamie Gibbons, had not planned on getting pregnant at this time because they felt unprepared for it, however, they needed to confirm if it was the case. Keely did several pregnancy tests to rule out that she was pregnant. Surprisingly, all the pregnancy tests were negative. Keely knew it was time for her to undergo a medical examination. Because she and her boyfriend Jamie were very worried as she was sure she wasn't pregnant. Keely thought that she could have had a miscarriage or even something more serious. After being examined by the doctors, they answered that she just gained some weight, but she didn't believe it, and she was sure something wrong was going on in her body. One day, when she was at work, she suddenly felt sick and fainted. When she woke up, her colleagues told her she just passed out, and she needs to see a doctor. After that, she immediately made a new appointment to see a physician. Once again, the doctor wasn't able to diagnose the real problem and concluded that the fainting was due to stress. Keely was very ill but was ignoring it. But she finally stopped being apathetic and decided to see a specialist after the fourth blackout. This time, the specialist said that the cause of her fatigue was her medication for acne. Keely thought it was ridiculous because she stopped taking acne medication for several months. Keely had had enough of the different doctor's opinions because they didn't take her illness seriously. Then she asked the doctor to do more tests. Her specialist noticed that she was struggling to breathe or walk normally, then he ordered an ultrasound to be done again. Keely hoped that the ultrasound would settle the medical mystery because the specialist kept repeating that she was most likely pregnant. Keely watched the ultrasound technician as he examined her. She was afraid when she saw the concern on his facial expression. The results of the ultrasound test disclosed that Keeley had a mass of abnormal tissue in her uterus. Now Keeley was about to know the shocking truth when the doctor ordered a computed tomography scan. Keeley and his boyfriend were waiting for the final results. Before revealing the CT scan results, the doctors tried to keep Keeley calm. Finally, they confirmed that she never was pregnant and what was in her stomach was an enormous ovarian lump. At that time, the specialist couldn't determine what type of lump was that. The lump found in her stomach tuned out to be a huge ovarian cyst. It was a 24 centimeter broad. Doctors finally found what the cause of Keeley's weight gain was, and then it was clear for them that she needed medical attention immediately. Keeley was informed by the specialist that to eradicate the cyst, there was a high probability that she would lose one of her ovaries and that she may need an extended hospital stay depending on the difficulty of the surgery. Keeley was terrified when the high-risk obstetrician said that he needed to operate on her immediately and he would need to open her stomach from the pelvic bone until her breast. On the morning of the operation, Keeley had a panic attack and she tried to leave the hospital. It took two nurses to detain her and administer her the injection. Keeley recognized that she felt this was the last day of her life. Keeley's family feared the operation would be complicated, they were waiting in frantic for news. The surgery took much longer than the doctors thought. Fortunately, after five hours in the operations room, the doctors could reassure Keeley's family. They were able to remove the entire cyst from Keeley's body, and now she can concentrate on her recovery. The hospital staff couldn't believe the size of the cyst, they took some pictures of it and showed it to Keeley as she came around from the anesthetic. Everybody was shocked when the doctor said that the cyst weighed 60 pounds. Keeley was discharged in good health four days after the surgery. Despite the 30 centimeter scar, which runs from her pubic bone to her breast, she was able to walk around a bit. Keeley was so happy to be able to continue her life normally. I lost sight of how difficult simple things had become, like driving a car or climbing stairs. The operation gave me my life back, I can't thank my surgeon enough," she explained. Although she had lost her right ovary, the doctors assured her that this would not affect her chances of becoming pregnant.